I understand that uh, you have taken a many picture of uh, UFO and uh, of the yeah. Radian. Um, how could you, you know, take those photos? <laughs> That's a very funny thing. I have my film camera, my photo camera. Yes. If I go outside, the most of the time, I carry them with me. Mm -hmm. But I never can get a picture mm -hmm. if I not get the order to shot one. Mm. If I can get the picture only by order of the Pleiadians, and then I will get a really good picture. Did they tell you a reason why they order to take a picture? <laughs> For proof. It's very amazing. Amazing pictures. And uh, may I ask you your background? Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about your background? I mean, your profession? What you're yeah. doing? You see, in my whole life I was working by about 300 or 320 different professions. 300? Mm. Oh. So, uh, uh, what were you doing when... Just now I call myself as a watchman. Watchman? Mm. Well, what do you mean, just uh, looking up the sky? No. no. <laughs> um, Maybe in Chapman too you have the night watchman. Uh huh. Something like that. So you were what? The last business I was doing was a watchman here in Switzerland. Oh. Well, yeah. And now I'm living from my rent only by 830 Swiss francs a month with my wife, three children, and two other persons. So how, how can you get the money? That's a, a rent from the government. Rent? Yeah, for my cut with arms. Oh, I see. Uh, That's mean, about the third part of that money what needs a other family in Switzerland with uh, five or six people. Mm. That means uh, government giving you the money or yeah. the company? The government? It's a, a government company. Uh, I see. Mm. And they pay a monthly rent mm. for my cut at arm. Oh, 830 francs. Uh, <coughs> so before then you were working as a watchman mm -hmm. uh, with, with some company. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, oh, some factory uh, or? In a factory. Yeah. In a factory. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, other time in Zurich by a uh, watchman company. Mm. Oh, I see. Mm. And uh, 1975? Uh, 1974, I finished my job. Uh -huh. And still, from that time, I live in from my rent only. Oh, I see. I'm writing take my photographs and everything. I see. Now so you are... I'm writing down everything from the contacts, mm -hmm. the knowledge, mm -hmm. the knowledge, mm -hmm. the spiritual teaching and everything. I see. Now uh, when you take a picture, mm -hmm. uh, could you describe how you're going to do, how mm. you do? Like it's very easy. Yes? You know? That's a very simple old Japanese photo camera. Yes. I can turn here, you see? Yes. Oh. And that I can do very quick by one hand. That the single camera I can use. Uh -huh. You can't change anything here. You can see by yourself. Okay. Well, it is very easy to use in one hand. Mm -hmm. I say that's the single one I can use. All the other they are too complicated because you need two hands to handle them. Just take this way. 
Yeah. It's very easy. That's very, very easy. easy. I see. And it's very quick. And, uh, you know, when you, you are taking a picture, mm -hmm. there should be uh, many people walking on the road or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, living in the house mm -hmm. and, uh, or, you know, running the mm -hmm. car. Mm -hmm. They might see the same no. thing. You see, that's very funny. If you take this here, mm -hmm. I think that's now the ship. I'm staying here with my camera. Mm -hmm. Everything around the ship, up, down, behind, by its side, will be closed. Nobody can see anything. There is a free line only to see something through here, the camera. Mm -hmm. or to my face, to my eyes. Mm -hmm. Then I'm staying here, get the picture, uh, to get the picture from the ship. You stay there by the lamp or by the tree. Mm -hmm. You can't see anything because there the sighting will be closed for you. How it only will be open this way to the camera. And this happens the most time. How could they do it? I don't know. <laughs> they have, you know, how about this one? You, you use Oops. the tripod with this? With them, yeah. Yes. I put it on the tripod, mm -hmm. then I have here an automatic. Mm -hmm. And then it works. I see. And two, it's a camera that I can handle by one hand only. Mm -hmm. It's here. I see. That's the single one I can find. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, at that time, uh, when was it? It's uh, it was outgoing winter time, I think, 1976. Six. The same year of that uh, young child. It was the same day. The uh, same day? Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. how the uh, saucer coming? Um, um, you have to, to go there to the front to tell you. Mm -hmm. um, you see there behind the mountain? Yes. About a third part from here to the mountain. Yes. The ship was moving from the left side to the right side. And uh -huh. Right side, left side, left side, right side. Mm -hmm. Always on that way. Yes. And then at later time, before it left by sunset, it moves behind that tree. Mm -hmm. You have seen the picture, and there I got three pictures I by see. my photo camera. So yeah. how many hours are together from uh, the beginning? All together, I've been here up for about two hours. Two hours? Yeah. How many pictures did you take? Uh, between 70, 90, 100, I don't know exactly. Hmm. Most of them I lost somewhere, stolen. I don't know. So this is the site where you took the picture of the UFO. And uh, actually, how did it 